Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie. Today we are thrifting at Goodwill and I'm going to include some footage from another thrift with me as well into this video. But before we go in, I want to introduce you to my new friend, Treasures by Tina. She is a really small channel and we are collaborating today. Uh, Tina has reached out to me and asked me if I would collab with her and I absolutely will. Her channel is small um, and it reminds me of how my channel started out. Um, it's just a potpourri of thrifting and home decor ideas and meal hauls or sorry grocery hauls and meal plans and all of that kind of thing. So if that's something you're interested in I would highly recommend going over and checking out Tina's channel. It's Treasures by Treasured by treasures by Tina um, and I will have a link to it down in the description box um, however I am under the weather and it is a really cold rainy day in Wisconsin and your girl's running a fever and the only reason why I'm dressed is for this video so it might be a little bit of a quicker video and I think I'm probably gonna do a table tabletop haul when I get home because um, I need my jammies. <laughs> so let's go thrifting. This painting was $4.99 and super cute, but not my style. It's too cutesy for me. And I apologize. I don't normally sound like this. I've lost my voice. Um, and I'm not going to be talking too much throughout this video. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to be talking too much throughout this video. I am a thrifter. I love thrifting. It is my passion, my hobby. I love the stories that items can tell, the history behind them. I think the quality of older items are much better than newer items. They just don't make things like they used to, right? So, I'm going to give my voice a rest and let you just enjoy some thrifting.
first item I purchased was this bottle. It was originally from Ikea and I didn't think the price was bad. It was filthy though, so I filled it up with um, a, a, about a half a cup of rice, a half a cup of water, a drop of dish soap and a, a little bit of vinegar and I put it inside and shook it up and used the rice to really clean the inside of the bottle really well. And then, um, just rinsed out the bottle, you know, strained out the rice and rinsed out the bottle and I'm using it in my laundry room for vinegar. I don't have a, any rhyme or reason of how I'm going to show you my items, but I did pick up this one item at the flea market. I love this frame. It is so pretty. I love the patina on it. It is gorgeous. I paid just 50 cents for it. Odin. <laughs> and um, it looks like somebody had purchased it at Goodwill for 99 cents and then donated it to the flea market. But I love this. I cannot wait to use it. I will probably just um, clean it up. I won't use this print. I'll take the glass out and clean it all up and put my own art in it or a photograph. I haven't decided yet, but I think that is just beautiful and will make a really nice addition to a gallery wall. I have not found... Courier and Ives in the wild in a while. So I was excited to pick these up. There are three dinner plates and they were $2.99 a piece. Um, they are a Royal Ironstone. And I was excited to find those. So I found, I did pick up all three. Um, so I think that will be a beautiful addition to my collection. I did not pick up the little plates, just the big plates. I also found this, uh, plaid fabric i thought it was gorgeous and would make all kinds of really cool things i think i might try to make a pillowcase out of this or a pillow cover if not i may make some ribbon it was only 2.99 and i believe on this day i did get 25 percent off this for the veterans discount my husband's a veteran and they gave me they gave me the discount for that and then I picked up two of these sage and cream window valances. Um, I picked them up because they were only 99 cents a piece. They are a good size and I think they would make beautiful lumbar pillow covers or I also like to use window valances as shams, or not shams, um, table runners. They make great table runners. So I always try to think out of the outside of the box when I see curtains and other kinds of fabrics because in the end it is just fabric and it can be used for anything. And then last but not least, I picked up two of the three Pampered Chef trays. I'll open the top one and show you what they're like. Okay, so this is what this tray looks like. I like to pick up these trays. This is just a use, use and care guide. I like to pick up these trays whenever I see them. They are much more expensive, or were much more expensive on Pampered Chef, and I love them because they have the nice wood bottom. This one actually has a lighter color bottom. These were both $12.99. Um, this one I'm going to be keeping. Um, it is my actual favorite tray, um, and I have a one already in use in my kitchen already holding my butter dish and my serving utensils and salt and pepper and that kind of thing as like a corral in my kitchen. I love that so much. And then I did pick up another one of these trays. I also already own this tray, but my sister wanted one of these. So I got this one for her. It was also the $12.99. Um, and it is just, they are so sturdy and gorgeous and have really good handles and are really good, you know, pieces. Um, for serving our decorative, you know, to corral items on a piece of furniture, decorative items are in your kitchen or on your wall. I did have mine up above my cabinets um, in a vignette, but I decided to move it down onto my kitchen table because it's a little bit smaller than the one I had on my kitchen table and traded that for the one above my cabinets. I did do a DIY on the one above my cabinets. It was a... Um, divided serving basket like it would have dip and thing in the middle and it was divided out and I did do a DIY on that on my Instagram my Instagram is border bananas 
as well. So that will be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to go check out uh, Treasures by Tina. Um, I will have her link down below as well as her video link. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.